All right, welcome to Fire Service Warrior video blog episode 14. So we've talked about a ton of topics. We've talked about our ethos statement. We've talked a little bit about this idea of trying to find the, the spiritual piece of firefighting and using that and the, the techniques of meditation and a little bit of visualization to try to improve our ability to perform and thrive on fire ground. I want to take a second and step back. And in the last week I've been doing a lot of reading. Um, the University of Georgia study came out um, that examined firefighter line of duty deaths and did a little bit of discussion of our culture in the fire service. I read that. I also have been reading crew resource management for the fire service. Um, read a few articles in situational awareness from a, a pretty well respected author. Uh, I've been digging into a lot of stuff in the last few weeks and really examining these ideas. And I continue to come back to this idea that as a fire service, we have embraced a mission statement in the buzzwords, everyone goes home, that is ultimately unsustainable. And I think that we do ourselves a disservice as fire service warriors, and we do our families a disservice if we really truly believe in our hearts that we can get to the point where we eliminate firefighter fatalities completely. Maybe it's naive of me, I don't believe it can happen. And I think that as long as it can happen, we need to own that possibility. It does a few things for us. Hopefully it serves as a motivator to strive for excellence. We, we need to stop allowing mediocrity to be the accepted standard. We need to strive for elite levels of fitness. We need to strive for elite levels of performance in the fundamental tasks of firefighting. We need to strive for excellence in the application of leadership, of fire ground command, of management of high threat dynamic incidents. And we need to put the time, the effort, the money, everything that it takes into preparing our fire service warriors and the leaders of those fire service warriors to excel. We need to stop accepting that just doing the bare minimum is good enough, or it, that's where the bar is set. That has to be done. We have to go away from all of that and shoot for the stars. We have to shoot for excellence. For one reason, if no other, every single one of us has somebody that sits at home when we're gone and worries about us. I spent a 48-hour shift at the firehouse this past week, hoping against all hope that I would get three or four structure fires, because I love nothing more than fighting fire. And at the same time that I was at the firehouse, with fingers crossed, hoping that I would get the call, I know my wife was at home praying to all get out that I wouldn't turn a wheel. Because as much as she loves what I do and respects what I do and knows that I strive to excel at firefighting, she also knows that every time that bell rings, that means that my life is on the line. So it's those people, it's our spouses, it's our kids, it's our parents, it's the people at home that we care about that should be the motivators. If we're not motivated to excel out of a personal desire or drive to succeed, to excel, to be the best, then we should at least, at the minimum, and you know I don't talk about being at the minimum, but at the minimum, we should want to find that level of elite performance, of elite fitness, of health, of longevity, of performance, of ability to thrive, so that when we get up and leave to go to the firehouse, and we kiss our loved ones goodbye, we increase the chance of them seeing us come home to them again. We have a responsibility to those people as well. And I am willing to guarantee, 100% guarantee, that if every firefighter in this country had a physical, if 
every firefighter in this country participated in a fitness program that required them to exercise to develop the capacity to thrive on the fire ground, if every department put out a training program that wouldn't allow firefighters to set foot on the fire apparatus unless they had mastered the fundamental skills of the fire ground, and we didn't promote people for any reason other than merit, pure ability to lead to understand the dynamic of the fire ground and to help motivate those fire service warriors underneath them to thrive, I would lay money today that we could reduce firefighter line of duty deaths in the United States of America by at least 75% in less than a year. It's a bold challenge to throw out there, but the fact of the matter is, prove me wrong. Step up, do the work, for your family if for no one else. If you are a leader of firefighters and you want them to be fire service warriors, make it happen. Create that culture of excellence. Create that culture that demands the ability to thrive on the fire ground. That's my challenge. That's what this is all about. It's about trying to reduce the 30 plus thousand firefighter injuries every year. It's about trying to reduce the line of duty death numbers that we see. Do it. I've got my ideas on how I'm putting it out there all the time. Do the work. Get in the gym. Get the physical. Wear your seatbelt. Wear your PPE. Master the fire ground. There you go. That's it. That's the sermon for this week. Go master the fire ground. Learn to thrive there. If you want to know how, you want to know how I do it, keep checking back here. I'm talking about it all the time. Read the book. Come to the classes. Whatever. Figure out your own path. Thrive there. Thrive there for your family and for the people that love you, if for no one else. Sure, it's hard. It, it, it can be incredibly hard. The fitness routine that I keep up with pulls two hours out of my day, almost every day of the week. That requires a commitment. But you know what? I want to thrive on the fire ground, and I want to come home to my family. That's what it takes. Food for thought for the week. Make it happen. Cheers.